Penny does, Joe Saunders, Glenn Martin Met Sushi Dar, as Fratello, Sophia Lacarrea Joe as teach us, bring it all together Penny, our friend, here at ENA Hello and welcome to Show Me How Today we're going to be working with encaustic art, an exciting and versatile new way of using colored beeswax and hot tools to create a contemporary art piece. Erika, thank you so much for joining me. Tell me what is encaustic art? Okay, encaustic art is, uh, we're using colored wax pieces. Yes. Uh, natural bee wax, it's just colored. Mm -hmm. And we use different tools with it. Yes. Uh, so we can, we've got a special iron to use, a stylist, uh, and even a hot plate that we're going to use today. Erika, I believe we're going to be making this piece of art today. Yes. How do we get started? I can show you right away. Okay, let's go. Okay, first I'm going to apply a wax on my hot plate. My hot plate is on. While you're doing that, tell me something. I would have Im immediately been worried about the paper on a hot surface like a tray. Yeah, which the, is the risk the, of the, fire. The, no, it no won't, risk. won't. No, it just heats up. Okay. Uh, and I will be able to melt my wax on it. I've okay. got the adjustable control that I can control the heat. So what setting do my, we put it onto? Well, for me to start off, I put it on tin. Okay. Uh, so that my wax can melt for my background. Mm -hmm. And I just apply the wax. Now this is special paper, isn't it? Yeah, it's a special paper that's sealed on both sides. Okay. So that you don't... It don't go into the paper. It doesn't get absorbed. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Into the paper. Okay, now I've applied some wax on there. Quite thickly, I see. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm taking a high density roller. Okay. And I'm just going to. Aha, you're just spreading it basically yeah. evenly. So that it's evenly spread onto the paper. Very interesting. Uh, okay, now what I'm going to do, I just use my little iron. Yes. And I'm just going to melt wax onto my background. Pretty randomly, and I suppose the hot tray yeah. will keep it wet and yeah. keep it... Um, yeah, it will keep it warm, so warm. I can okay. use that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put different colors that I want on my picture. Right. And um, this basically, you've, you've worked with a sunset theme here. So in this case, you're choosing colors that would complement that. Yeah. But yeah. If, if at home you've got a specific color theme and whether it's blues and beach side you, kind you of... You add what colors you, you would like to your picture. Yes, of course, yeah. Something that, that works together. Yeah, and this is, is very, you'll see, after this I'll use the hair dryer yes. to blow the, the wax. An ordinary hair dryer. Yeah. Okay. And it's, you, you can use um, a hot... Um, a stylus sorry. or... That you, you blow the paint with it. Oh, yes, those, the heat those gun. heat guns. You, you yes. can use a heat gun. Yes. Or you can use an ordinary hair dryer, a hair dryer that you've, we've all got that at home. That's it. You know, um, I was chatting to a lady the other day that was on the show, and we were talking about making cards. And she was working with a specific heat gun because it had a very narrow range that it was blowing. Yeah. But the hair dryer would blow quite wide. Yeah. So I think in this case that, that would be ideal for us. Yeah, it does. Because, it because the design wonderful. has been blown right across the paper. Yeah, because Excellent. we're working with a bigger um, background. Yes. And a bigger surface. Now tell me a little bit about the colours. Do you buy these standard? Um, are they are they available in, in all these colours? Yeah, we've got 48 different colours. Okay. Um, they come in boxes of 16 each. Yes. Uh, we've got uh, like a starter set, a vivid and an expander set okay. of wax. And so can you can you choose between pastel colours and brighter colours? Yeah, okay. yeah we've got all the, the big variety that one can use. That iron that you were busy working with, that is a very specific iron. It's an yeah. acoustic iron, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's an acoustic art iron. Okay. Uh, I can keep the temperature on one setting all the day, okay. you know, the whole day long. Okay, and you don't need to keep adjusting mm, backwards no, and forwards. Okay. No, no. Lovely. Okay, let's, now let's I'm go just back. going to blow a bit. I 
love the effect that that created. It's fascinating. Lovely, hey? You know, it reminds me of when, when we were kids. We used to fold a paper in half and put some acrylic paint inside yeah. and then close it and spread the paint and we get and these beautiful get, yeah, butterflies. Yeah, a lot the same effect. Very, yeah. very nice. So I'll just do my art play down a bit. Okay. And this is a, a little high-density sponge. Okay. And I'm going to do the whole picture with this. Is that so? So right. that is... And all, that is available in any craft store, is it? Yeah, you should be able to get it. We sell it. Uh, from our acoustic range, mm -hmm. but if you can get a little sponge like this, it can work Fantastic. fine. Fantastic. So what are you designing now? Okay, now I'm doing the stem of my... Um, Coconut tree? Yeah, okay. my palm tree. Very there clever. There you go. Very clever. So you're actually lifting the wax off at this stage, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just actually... I'm just drawing onto and moving the wax away. Yes, yes. And now, just to just to show you how quick and easy you can make a very nice design. Now your wax is still quite hot, so you're still going to get a little bit of movement until it settles, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. If you're not working, well, once you've taken it off the hot tray, how long does the wax take to dry? Uh, a few minutes. Is that so? Yeah, so it's quick and... Fantastic. And then do you find that um, most people would actually frame their artwork? Yeah, uh, a lot of people, they do different things by making cards, yes. um, beautiful art pieces like the ones you, you looked at before. Yes. Um, but now the people really start framing it and selling the art pieces framed. I've seen in some of the markets, I've seen some of the handmade um, encaustic greeting cards. Yeah. And they are beautiful. They really are. They're unique. I mean, you... You can't get two that are exactly the same. Okay, what? how do we prevent the design from running, or will it settle? As soon as I take it off, it will okay, settle. Okay, fantastic. So there my tree is finished, and yes. I'm just going to put one, Our little coconuts. two, three little coconuts on there, and there we go. Fascinating. Now, we switch off the, the, the hot tray and leave it there, or do we take and it no, off to dry? No, we take it off. Okay. When we move it, just move it carefully. Yes so that it don't run yes and then we would put it somewhere to dry yeah let me move can. this away okay. i'm actually going to put it on the other side so that our viewers can see more clearly so let me just put it over here and basically that's our, our finished and work of art it's, it's already starting to dry yeah very very interesting so once it's dried i'll just show you shall i remove this for you will it help um. you to work we are going to do the next one. Yeah, let me just remove this one and then you can finish off on that one. Okay, so now this, this one is dry now. So I can take my tape off. Yes. Okay, but it looks quite dull compared to this one. Yeah, until I start to polish it. Okay, and, and you, you, you're you not going to mess it up because it's not 100% no, dry. it's already dry. Fantastic. It's off. Oh wow! And look. the moment I start to polish it, it becomes three-dimensional. You know what? It's the same sort of principle as when you used to polish your floors with wax. Yeah. It would look very dull until yeah. you actually buffed it. Very, very interesting. And look, the the two are, are different, but obviously you can create complementary uh, pieces yeah. using the same the technique, same, same sort uh, of design. Yeah, and the same uh, color wax, wax colors. Yes. Because if you blow it, you're never going to get the same Absolutely. thing ever again. I can try and redo it again and it will be different of again. Of course, but that yeah. is what original art is all about, isn't it? But that is lovely and I, I, I enjoyed that and I think it's very, very simple. So you need the right tools, you must make sure it's not ordinary wax crayons, yeah, it's proper beeswax. Yeah, proper beeswax and then the main thing is um, don't be scared, just yes. create Yes. and every time it's a masterpiece. I'm going to show you a little one yes. and you're going to make the bigger Fantastic. picture for us. Okay, again you just apply the beeswax. And again we're working on the hot tray with quite a hot setting. Yes. But nothing happens to our paper. No, no Good. it won't. It's just heating up so that we can use the, the beeswax. Okay. And we can, I can apply it quite randomly because yeah. 
Yeah, it oh, doesn't matter because we're going to use the high density sponge roller. Now, as I'm working with it, I can actually feel the, the, the wax melting and yeah. it sort of glides over the paper. Very nice. Okay. And we saturate it quite a bit, don't we? Yeah, yeah. How does that look? That's perfect. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Next, we're going to take the roller and just spread it out evenly. Spread it evenly over your page. Mm -hmm. And it, you said earlier it has to be a high density sponge roller. Yeah, to, okay. to have a good effect. Yes, otherwise I suppose it just absorbs yeah. the wax, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. What about those other rubber rollers? Would that work as well? Yeah, you, you get different ones even with shapes on. Okay. And it makes different patterns oh, on your... On your um, on the background. Baby, baby, yeah. Gee, it was, you know, you said earlier that it's all about exploring and finding different ways of using it. And I think that is what will be so much fun. You get started with this as a guideline and then just explore. You just carry on and you start playing. Fantastic. And when you see you're addictive. Yeah, I can see it. It is addictive. <laughs> okay, now to make the rose is very easy. It looks very difficult. That's this rose here. Yeah, but okay. it's very easy. You just take your block of wax. Yes. And you start and you make a circle. Okay, so it's actually applying and scratching off at the same time. Yeah. Okay, let's hope I have a steady hand. Just like that. Okay, so you can first do it with that color. And I see you've gone quite big with your, with your rose. So I'm a little bit intimidated, so let's see how it works out. No, you're perfect. There it goes. You know what, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling optimistic because you said earlier that every piece is unique. And every piece is a masterpiece. So we'll call this one a masterpiece as well. Now what happens there where I've got the blue background color coming through? Is that a problem? Well, we're going to go over it with the red now. Are we? Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't so matter. you can fill in that color there. You think that's big enough? Yeah, that's super. Fantastic. Okay, now I'm taking the red mm -hmm. and I'll just go over it. Okay. So it's blending a little bit and giving it some depth with yeah. the purple in the background. Very interesting. And these techniques are so easy. You know, it's I suppose... so easy, yeah, and then you're just going to make your stem and do your leaves, okay. which way you would like to. Now, apart from the heat factor, you could also, it, it's a nice craft for children to get involved with, but I think the heat is a problem because... Yeah, I would say from the age of 12. Okay. 12, 14. Yes. Um, they can work with. The main thing is just to keep it out of the sun. Okay. And don't put it on a hot plate when you're looking at it, when it's yes. on or a stove <laughs> or something, like, because that will melt. Of course. But otherwise, it's N now when super. Now, when you talk about a sealant, is that a special sealant? Yeah, we've got a wax sealer. Yes. That after you polish your picture, you apply it with a, a brush. Okay. A very fine brush, so that you have a you don't have the streaks. Yeah, th mm -hmm. that it's smooth. And let it dry. Uh, sometimes I apply two coats okay. of that. And then it's fine. And, and the only thing is when you frame it, yes. it mustn't be onto the glass. Okay, it's got you must have a mounting board okay. to give you a little bit of space between yes, your picture yes. and, and the, the, the wax. But, yeah, it makes sense. And um, I was going to ask you as well about the, um, about the, the, the sealant. How long does mm -hmm. that sealant take to dry? I'll say in about an hour it will be oh, It's quite fine. quick as well. Yeah, Everything yeah. about this is quick. And I love yeah, quick and easy and things. And that's, that's what's nice about acoustic. You can start something now and you can finish now. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's You fantastic. don't have to carry on for days Absolutely. To, to do that. Yeah, I get a little bit impatient. And yeah. I, I find that that is too challenging for me. Um, okay, let's do our second coat of, of paint. And if we wanted to really come up with a, a very sophisticated and a very complex uh, background, we could also do that. Um, I see you've kept it quite simple, just doing the stem and then doing your leaves, but you could go as complex as you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, I, I suspect that this uh, encaustic art is not available in every craft shop because it is still a new craft, isn't it? Um, so, but I, I think most of them would be able to, to order from a supplier like yourselves. Yeah, yeah, I'm the sole importer. 
Okay. So, so they can contact us and we can uh, supply them with Perfect. And if they, the if they go into their local craft store, they can always ask them to order and then it will be there within a few days. Yeah. Two, three days and we've got the products. Okay. Then. So we've talked about the drying time and we've talked about the fact that it shouldn't be in the sun and it can be protected with a sealant. Uh, what other tips do you have for us to do with encaustic art? What are the do's and the don'ts? Tools, what tools other than, okay, we're using something basic like a hot tray, but what other tools? Okay, we've, you, you can use different tools like, we've got different sponges for, for the hot plate. Yes. We've got like scrappy tools, we call them, it's a, they've got it's like pens with a rubber in the front. Okay. And that's also for the hot plate use. And that would do pretty much what we're doing here, it would actually stamp and yeah, lift a little yeah, bit of the design off. Yeah. And then you can, uh, okay, for, then we've got the iron and the stylus. We've, uh, for the stylus, we've got different uh, tips you can put on. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a mini iron, a micro iron, okay. a round one, and we've got nine new ones coming into the country now. That would Different give us the tips. very fine work yeah, and fine detail. Yeah, that you detail. can do all fine detail with it okay. and patterns. Yes. Uh, so that's very, very interesting to use. Yeah. So this is ideal for us beginners, and then you can yeah. progress on to Yeah, and as you, as you start, you see, wow, this looks nice. And yes. So, so like I say, the wow factor is always yes. there. But, you know, what I'm finding fascinating about this is that if, if we make a mess and there's something we don't like, we go back to our yeah. background color, paint over it, and we're A for away. Yeah, for instance, if you look at mine now, yes, I can just go over it. And this also can give you a very An different effect, you know. But I can decide, okay, I don't like what I've done there. Yes. And I can just take my wax. Now the yes, I can just start all over again. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at that. Okay. It just depends what I'm going to. Yes, and you can you can just go freehand mm. and do something that and you like. It's, it's just like the card. If you iron, if you don't like it, you just go over yes. it and you start yes. again. And if the, the background is too this. if the background is too dark, you can go over it again with a lighter color and start all yeah. over again. I've loved this. Thank you so much. It's signed. You should sign yours, but I'll leave that up to you for another day. And now the only thing left to do would be to take it off here yeah, and buff it until it's lovely yeah. and shiny. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Erica. That was great. Pleasure. Show Me How was proudly colored by PNA, suppliers of stationery, books, arts, and crafts. PNA, color your world. Products available in store at PNA. Visit www.pna.co.za for further information. PNA.